Hello, friends and adventurers, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Exile 3, Ruined World. Last time, we defeated the mighty Drake Lord Dracos, and retrieved the legendary armor of Pactar. And by defeated, I mean we somehow managed to get Dracos on our side with the power of friendship. Or a little bit of mind control. Though I'm quite surprised that a Wand of Charming works on something as powerful as a Drake Lord. Also, I'm not sure if it was Dracos or her mate that we charmed. It... Just assume that it's whichever one is funniest. Anyway, on the way back to Gale, I decided why not go pick up another artifact, which is conveniently nearby. In the Pit of the Worm. Also, since it pulls up my inventory, in rearranging my inventory, I also stopped off at one of the random item shops. So, Pactar's plate has holy crap defenses and protects from many things. I found the Oakrish Gauntlets at the random item shop. They are basically identical to the Giantish Gauntlets. Give pretty good defense, a little bit of encumbrance, and supposedly extra strength. Might be funny to have Garnet be uh, super strong. Assuming, of course, that that doesn't put her over the encumbrance limit. In this cavern, you find the ruins of a crude building. It was hurriedly built and quickly destroyed. There is an eerie, total silence. You feel as if you're being watched. Excavation NEQ4H3N432 Headquarters. Officer Dariad. Okay. I wonder how long this has been here, considering it's very inaccessible now. You see one of the Empire Army's most horrid and powerful shock troops. A mutant giant! It's a captured giant, magically warped and strengthened, skin reinforced with metal plates, and mind altered to be utterly loyal. Oh dear. Those were developed during the Exile Empire War. And I guess not all of them got decommissioned. Aw, yeah, can still cast all my spells. Since I've been reminded of the power of charm... Resists. Meh. Acid? Mwahaha! Oh, you know what I should do? I should actually scry one of these. Mutant giant throws rocks, is immune to poison. Probably not super vulnerable to acid either, then. Uh, generally just a relatively big pile of hit points and attack. Oh, and I saw the morale stat was ludicrous, so maybe that's why it's immune to charming? Or resistant, resistant to charming? Game mechanics, how do they work? Tough suckers. No, actually that was pretty decent damage for acid. And 
By the way, Pearl is no longer getting experience because she is at level 50, which appears to be the level cap. So if I want her to get any more skill points ever, I'm going to need to find some knowledge brews or the like. So much for that ogreish strength. And then Mutant Giant takes frickin' 33 damage from Garnet's halberd. Okay. a few of them. I did see a curse go it this way. Oh, that's a bunch of them. Retreat. Have divine thud. Little bit disappointing. I wish I had shockwave. I don't want to spend a whole lot of spell points right up front here, even though it would be easy enough to retreat and rest again. Okay, can that be all of them? Don't have to worry about food in this dungeon, I see. 
Oh boy, rocks and garbage and bones and a skull. The giants have carved on this huge obelisk a crude drawing of a huge worm. Lovely. More rocks. Even more rocks. I will come back to that building in a bit. Light's running out. Unharvested rocks. Hi. Mutant's Shrine. Oh, this should be fun. There's a slime here. Ow. slime. That might have been a threat at one point. Oh, that damage. Okay, that is a sign of just how tough these mutant giants are, that I can take a slime down that easily, and these guys are still absorbing quite a lot of my damage. I don't think I have enough to summon a quick guest. Me. Sorry, Peridot, you get to sit this one out. Or I can have you go exploring. Assassin's Dagger might be a little more effective than I thought. Seriously, look at that hit rate. here. Crude drawing of a huge worm. Crude drawing of a huge worm. The giants have carved on this huge obelisk a crude drawing of a huge worm being ridden by a man with a crossbow. Hmm. I'm sensing a theme with the huge worms. Are we going to encounter Shai Halud? Well, 
there is certainly a big pit here. The passage slopes sharply downward here. It's icy cold. The mutant giants have been continuing the dig here on their own. What they're after, you can't imagine. Yep, more slimes. full of twisty little passages. And sometimes bones. A slimy passage slopes down into utter darkness. I'll put a pin in that one. Okay, that is the only way down that I have found so far. And if I want to get back into the building up front, I need to go all the way around. I think my light is fading a little bit faster than usual. You reach the entrance to the ruin. The floor is littered with bits of armor, some of which have empire insignia. There are no humans here. Oddly, there are also neither bodies nor bloodstains. Huh. The door has a rune of protection in front of it. It would help protect the door from bashing. However, an unlock spell should do the trick. Dariad, Chief Excavation Officer. Okay, intact bedroom. Not so intact bedroom. Although it does have pants and a lamp. Wait, speaking of pants, Peridot still doesn't have any pants. Let's fix that, young lady. Oh, hi. Dariad, what you got for me? A couple of scrolls. This stuff may not be mine, but it's certainly not being claimed by anyone else right now. And a book. Ooh, that's quite a lot in a book. 
The book is a diary, a partial record of the excavation of this ancient ruin, written by someone named Dariad. Day one. Arrived at sight. Had a dozen men, three of them mages, and thirty strong empire-altered giants for excavations. Very exciting. Who knows who might have created this site? Okay, so in peacetime, the Empire uses the augmented giants for uh, physical labor and not just military purposes. Day 5. Things are going well. Found signs that this is indeed the crypt of Syros? Syrios? Something like that. Recovery of his legendary crossbow would be a great triumph for our expedition. Day 12. Going well. Have broken into a strange shaft leading down. Found traces of odd slime. Intriguing. Day 20. Things continue to go well. The slime attack that fell for poor Sasson could happen at any site, and the odd behavior of the giants does not worry me. The mutant creatures are legendary for their loyalty. All hail, Empire. Day 30. Almost to lower level. Things continue to go well. The giant that attacked Esther was swiftly punished, and the general moodiness of the giants will pass. They seem to be making carvings in their off time. Anything to relax them. Day 35. Things continue to go well. Yet the strange dreams we have begun to have are making us slightly edgy. One of the giants refutes an order today. She said something like, I follow the worm. Punishments will be meted out tomorrow. That is the last entry. I suspect that things did not continue to go well after a bit. So I want a magic map just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, there's something in the corner there. How might I get to you? the obvious way. Potentially by going up from the somewhere in the lower level. Oh, that's how. I did not explore thoroughly enough for secret passages. Oh, the shame. This wall is clearly very odd. The excavators haven't quite reached here yet. I'll show you excavation. Despite its age, this room is still very much intact. At first, you're unsure what the pit in the middle is for. Then you see the frescoes on the walls, of men and women being thrown in, and it's suddenly quite clear. As you look at the sacrificial pit, several creatures ooze out of it. They're gray-green slimes, and the trail of slime they leave behind is hissing and eating away at the stone. Oh, hi. If you wanted me to be scared of Hmong slimes, you shouldn't have put them this close to the endgame. So we've got a pit surrounded by ceremonial mats, some powder, which could be basic powder, if there's all the acid around here, and, uh, oh, delightful, a couple of cells with bones. Just bones. I'm at least half tempted to go out and recover some spell points. I should probably do that. Back in a moment. Hm. I notice on the map an odd little bit here. Great view of the pit if you want one. And one over here, too. Pretty 
unfortunately, no giants have respawned. Well, we're not about to go jump down the giant shaft in the middle of the area, so let's climb down the slimy passage into utter darkness. Your light is drained. Oh. Wonderful. Oh, you know, I should have done an identification spell right before I rested. Okay, scroll of flame is garbage, scroll of major haste is not, and basic powder could be good if somebody gets hit by acid. And now I have my spell points back. Haha. -ha. Time for another magic map, perhaps. Oh good, that worked. On the other hand, this corridor could shape up to be a slog. Or it would if the Hmong slimes weren't such pushovers. Welp. Pearl can tank it. The problem with the darkness is I'm not sure whether it's faster to go through in combat mode or not in combat mode. Oh, hi, you're a big one. At least I resist the paralysis. I do want to haste more people. Eh, maybe not. Ooh, you know what? I have... A spell, Detect Life, that I hardly ever use. Okay, so nothing in my immediate area, but there's a few clumps of enemies here and there.
guys feel so much better. Oh, pfft. I keep running face first into giant worms. Let's just super curse you. Um. Okay, they can summon undead. Eh, regular ghasts. Might want to. Oh, the worm died from poison. Hee <laughs> hee. Might want to curse you as well. You're supposed to be cursed. wanting to have Connie do cure poison and then I keep having her swing her sword at things instead. Strong and vulnerability potion. A bunch of gold and an unidentified knife. Okay, I think that's all for this clump. A narrow passage. How convenient for running right into various nasties. Or for having the nasties run into me. Not sure where you are. Okay, again, nothing super close to me. More down near the end here. Hello, I see you. Not... Um, hmm, there seems to be some light coming nearby. I knew it wasn't going to be just slimes. I was very suspicious of this platform-looking thing. Ooh, 33 damage. So much. Okay, so apparently assassination will stack on top of flaming weapon damage to get ludicrously high numbers like that.
it's almost not worth it to try doing any uh, area of effect spells. But I can still have some fun. That went well. I'm not really interested in the darts. Oh, okay. I'm not interested in these darts. Wait, one darts with unspecified uses could be magical. Hmm, what an interesting looking building this is. You reach the bottom of a huge pit. There is a thick smell of decay. You discover the unpleasant fate of the humans who lived above. Someone threw them into the pit. Their bodies are all around you. Yay. Their bodies are also marked on the map. For easier looting, I guess. Oh dang, a breastplate. Oh dang, a slime! Uh, that's right, there were a few in here, weren't there? Picks, which I certainly don't need. But if they're in an endgame dungeon, they must be worth something, right? Right? Yeah, that's all of them. Ah. Stop stepping onto swamp tiles. To be fair, the swamp tiles are extremely hard to see on the map. Okay. Tomb of Cyrios. With no obvious door. Okay, either there's a secret passage, or one of these walls I can knock down. Uh. 
that didn't do it. Oh, but I do see something on the map in here. Which might be inaccessible. How am I supposed to get in here? actually check around for this secret passage looking area here. Maybe I should do that. Haha. -ha. to do this area without magic map, or at least a guide. How awful. Okay, lockpicks don't work. into a mausoleum. A long row of crypts stretches out in front of you. When you step on the rune, the doors to the north glow slightly. Oh, do they now? Hmm. There's a stout wooden lever protruding from the ground here. Let's pull it. You pull the lever! Nothing happens, as far as you can tell. Oh, hi. Ah, icy touch! I hear you walking around out over there. Fine. Ooh, stuff. Unidentified potion. And another unidentified dart. Okay, I thought I heard another spectre wandering around, but maybe not. Did you really have to put so much unavoidable swamp in here? Oh hey, a slime. done. Looks like there should be a door around here. But there's a door over here now. Interesting. 
Okay. You start to step on this section of floor. However, when your foot touches, bolts of lightning arc out towards you. You jump back, and only get a little fried. Ugh, that count is only a little? Also, I really shouldn't have had Steven do all of that shattering, huh? Fortunately, Connie has light heal all. And my characters with really good resistance only took around 30 damage each. Okay, so stepping on the green squares, not a good idea. You step onto this section of floor and are quite surprised when something bad happens to you. You suddenly find yourself somewhere else and terribly drained to boot. Okay. At least it only drained me of health, not spell points. Oh, phooey. Ah, no, that's the one I don't want to step on. Well, that one was foolish. This is getting very painful. Oh, come on! Success! But at what cost? You reach an ancient crypt. A skeleton lies on a massive marble bier, surrounded by several objects of war. A crossbow in particular looks promising. Knock knock, anybody home? Will I get horribly cursed when I take your stuff? So far, so good. Hmm. So I've picked up a Wand of Rats, Scroll of Major Haste, Scroll of Poison. You can keep that one. Uh, aha! This one is a Dart of Returning. Mediocre damage at best, but you never run out of ammo. This dart has a shining, polished tip of some rare and strong metal, rare feathers along its length, and a general air of refined deadliness. Or at least, refined annoyingness. Ah, the lockpicks I got are only fine lockpicks. I can sell them for a bit. But the real prize here is the Fury Crossbow. Ooh, bonus 7 and defense 5. This crossbow is made from polished oak. It has a handle covered with black leather, and it has been strung, strangely, with a thread of gold. It feels warm and comfortable in your hands. Yay. I should start actually trying to hit some, hit things with it again. Okay, we seem to be reasonably uncursed here. Oh, darn. Oh, darn you. Hmm. 
I'm not sure I want to find out if it can drain me below a hundred. I'm not sure I want to find out if it can drain me below zero health and kill me. Fortunately, I don't have to find that out. Ugh. And now to slowly and painfully work my way back out of here. Alright. I got slimed once, but no big deal. Now to never return there again. And uh, get my heel on and go do yet more inventory management somewhere in town. Honestly, aside from the shenanigans with the final crypt at the end there, that was less intense than I remember as a kid. Maybe I wasn't quite so overpowered the first time I encountered that dungeon, or maybe I got caught by surprise by the giant worms. Anyway, I'll catch up with you all later, and until then, have a good one, everybody.